So before I start, at the outset, I would like to thank the all the organizing committee members to for giving me chance to present this quiz again at HARP 2023. So moving ahead, the quiz is based on FRCR Part 1 physics exam pattern. There is one STEM question that will have five statements written under it. You will have to write either true or false. So here, since we are conducting this particular quiz on Google uh, form format. So there is a drop down for each question as true or false. So you have to select one of them. There is no limit of true or false. All the options could be true or all of them could be false. There is no negative markings either. So it is expected that all of you will uh, attempt all the questions. Each question is given one minute and 10 seconds to answer. So there are since there are five stems, so approximately you have 20 seconds to read, understand, and correlate and then find the answer for it or write the answer for it. So only first 15 questions will be evaluated for the final marks. Only if there is a tie, then next two questions, that is 16 and 17, will be evaluated. And if still there is a tie, as it happened in three candidates in HARP 2018, then next two questions will be evaluated. And if still there is a tie, then two can as happened with two candidates in HARP 2018, then question number 20 will be evaluated. So decision of Quizmaster, that is myself, will be final in deciding the winner. And all answer sheets, that is Google Form answers, will become property of HARP course organizing committee. Hence, you can take screenshot of your answer sheets in case you want to self-evaluate. Also, you have been given an option of submitting or getting these answers in your email. So that you can uh, make use of that particular option also. So starting with the quiz, as it is timed by itself, so automatically there will be change in the slide after 1 minute 15 seconds. So coming to the first question now, and now your time starts. So I will not speak in between now, and you can just carry on with the quiz. This is the next question based on production of x-rays. The third question, based on X-ray interaction and attenuation collimators.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसर्निंग पिक्चर आर्काइविंग एंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विद रिगार्ड टू रेडिएशन प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ स्टाफ व्हाट इज ट्रू और फॉल्स Sixth questions. Sixth question. Factors affecting image quality. The following statements are true or false pertaining to image quality. Seventh question in carrying out quality control test for x-ray equipment the following statements are true or false Question number eight: Which of the following are correct regarding the stochastic effects of radiation?
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन रिगार्डिंग इमेज इंटेंसिफायर्स इन फ्लोरोस्कोपी द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर आई ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन रिगार्डिंग डिजिटल ब्रेस्ट टोमोसिंथेसिस द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर आई ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन रिगार्डिंग मैग्नेटिक रेसोनेंस इमेजिंग क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व इन स्पिन एको इमेजिंग द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चन थर्टीन रिगार्डिंग टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेडियन रिकॉर्ड एको दैट इज जी आर ई सीक्वेंसिस द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू और फॉल्स
Question number 14. Regarding the diffusion weighted imaging or diffusion weighted MRI, the following statements are true or false. Question 15. Concerning MR NGO, the following statements are true or false. Now question number 16 will be evaluated only in case of tie as I already told you. It is in relation to specialized MRI techniques the following statements are true or false. Question 17 regarding artifacts in MRI. Question number 18 regarding MRI safety that is regarding the specific absorption ratio SAR the following statements are true or false.
क्वेश्चन 19 रिगार्डिंग फैट सप्रेशन टेक्निक्स इन एमआरआई द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट और फॉल्स The last question regarding MRI based iron quantification techniques the following statements are either correct or incorrect that is true or false So that ends the quiz and the 20th question. So thank you very much to all of you for attempting this. Now you have to kindly submit your answers in the Google Forms and submit that but like press that submit button so that it gets reflected in our email IDs. The forms will be ex accepted only till next 5 minutes. So I'll be after that uh, I'll request the organizing team to just switch off that particular Google Form and then uh, we will just assess the answers. So answers will be told to you next week. Thank you very much to all of you.